I'm doing another throwback, you know, another video. Nobody on YouTube ever does anymore. I'm digging her up from the ground, from the grave. I'm bringing her back. Let's get it. Let's go. Hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're actually new to my channel and this is the first time you're seeing my face or coming to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And I post new videos once a week. You can already tell by the title, it's a pet tag. So if you guys don't know, I have a pet. Actually, I'm going to get into all of that once we get into the video. If you want to know more about me and my pet, then just keep on watching. I never felt one before. He's trying to leave the video already. Excuse me, sir. Hey, you see yourself? Oh, look at the cute boy. <laughs> You're so cute. First question on the tag actually is, what's your pet's name? His name is Butterball Demarcus. He's one of a kind. There's nothing out here like him. Okay, next question. Sec You're hungry, his stomach just growled. Second question is, how did I come up with his name and does it have any significance? So to answer that question, Butterball's name actually doesn't have any real meaning behind it basically the reason his name is butterball is because when he would sleep he would curl up in a ball and he looked like a ball and the color of him looked like butter so i put it together and i was like hey butterball that's his name am i proud of it yes because it's unique just like him next question how old is your pet good boy butterball is 10 years old. I've had him since the sixth grade. It's been forever. Next question. When did you get your pet? I kind of already answered this. I would say I got him when I was 11. What breed is your dog? My dog is a mixed breed dog. He is a Pekingese and a high Westland Terrier. And he is adorable. You're beautiful, Butter. He's beautiful regardless of what y'all haters gotta say. Some may say his teeth look atrocious okay some may say his feet sit like this okay <laughs> you will never find another like him and i love him next question question six how old were you when you got your pet i was 11. question seven how did you get your pet so she knew i always wanted a pet i dreamed of having a dog and she wanted a dog low key too so what did we do she went on the lookout and over that summer I got me a puppy. That's basically the story. I was a good girl, so I got a puppy. <laughs> All right, next question. What's your pet's favorite food? Butterball's favorite food, I would have to say, is anything my dad eats or treats. Those are the two. Next question. What is your pet's favorite game? Butter's favorite game, I would have to say, is playing with a ball. He don't really like fetch. He doesn't really do that. I would have to say playing ball or playing with rope. Those two are his favorite games to play. What is your favorite thing to do together? Our favorite thing to do together, I would have to say is I love cuddling with him. Early morning cuddles are the best cuddles ever. Or when he falls asleep in my bed sometimes, that's kind of cool. I like when we do that. Next question. Question number 11. Do you guys go outdoors? And if you do, where do you go? So, Butter does go outside, but for the most part, it's the backyard. Or I try to take him places sometimes. And then he hates the car. He'll cry a lot in the car. It's just, it's it's a lot. It's, if you know Butter, and you know me, and you've been in a car with us before, you know what type of experience that is. So with that, next question, please. Question 12, what is a bad habit that your pet has? Well, I would say one of Butter's bad habits is his breath stinks, like, <laughs> He doesn't let you brush his teeth. That's a bad habit. 
sometimes his listening skills are not up to par because he likes to do what he wants to do when he wants to do it but other than that he's really a good boy for the most part question 13 what is the best thing about your pet the best thing about my pet is that he's very lovable and he loves cuddling he's very sympathetic and he likes to be there for me when i'm upset so i really do love that about him next question Question 14, what is the naughtiest thing your pet has ever done? I'm sorry, Butter, but I gotta expose you. There's no hard feelings now, but there used to be a lot of hard feelings. And one day, me and him were arguing. Yeah, I know how that sounds, a human arguing with a dog. I wanted him out of my room. So he didn't wanna get from underneath my bed. And what did I do? I went under there and I tried to grab him and he bit the side of my face. You can't really see it. There's like a little scar over here. Yeah, I'll never forget it. And that's the naughtiest thing he has ever done was do that to me. And when I went and told my parents, do you know what they told me? They said, well, you shouldn't have been messing with the dog. So there's that. Next question. Next question. Question 15. What is the funniest memory involving your pet? The funniest memory I can really remember is this one time we had went out to dinner and my dad got this big big bag of french fries filled with at least a hundred plus french fries in there and this is how greedy how fat but he got the heart of a fat kid okay he ate every last french fry he left not a crumb he basically passed out in a food coma after and the look he gave us at first when we put the bag down was like are you for real right now? No, you for fake. No, you for real. You for fake. Uh-uh. I was weak. Next question. Question 16 is, what is the best memory involving your pet? And I would have to say the best memory was, of course, picking him out and taking him home. That's something I will never forget because... It was really unforgettable. He's the first dog I've ever had and I've ever loved. So, of course, picking him out has to be the best memory that I've had with him. I can't imagine my life without him, seriously. Next question. Question 17. What is the hardest thing about being a pet owner? The hardest thing to me about being a pet owner is when Butter hates getting in the car and I can't take him places. Like, I'd love to take him to a whole bunch of places, but it's just he freaks out. He has bad anxiety. He just, he doesn't like it, and I don't really like it. It just puts everybody in a really bad situation that we can just avoid by not taking him to many, many places. And I would also say that, like, not really understanding him or knowing how to understand him sometimes is really hard being a pet owner question 18 what is the most rewarding thing about being a pet owner the most rewarding thing to me about being a pet owner was when i was teaching butter how to do all these tricks and he would do them i used to love that like i would be so happy like i'd be like oh my gosh i just taught him this new trick can't nobody touch me but yeah like i used to love teaching him new tricks hashtag do it for the treat so question 19 was does butter have any nicknames which he has plenty he has butter pooty b-ball demarcus butterman my baby my little butter bean he has quite a few nicknames so there's that now let's get to the final and last question. Question number 20. Woo! You're not excited? No? Send help? Okay. Question 20. Have you ever taught your pet any tricks? And if so, what tricks are there? Well, Butter, what tricks can you do? You can sit. You can lay down. You can give me paw. You can dance, you can jump, you can sing, right? You can speak, and he can roll over, but he has to be in the mood for that. And that's about it for Butter and his tricks. And he's over it, he just sighed. <laughs> Say bye to the people, to the subscribers. Say bye, Poop. Are you 
eating my hair so that brings me to the end of this video i hope you guys liked it i hope you thought it was cute give this video a thumbs up for butter not for me but for butter but i mean if you want to give it for me to go ahead and do that and don't forget to like comment and subscribe mostly subscribe and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell because I post new videos once a week. And I want you guys to be notified when I post the new video. Now, that's that. That's a wrap. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Bye, guys. Butter, are you happy? He's a good boy overall, so he deserves everything. Watch how hype he about to get. Here you go. Good boy. You gotta do a trick. You want it? Sit down. Good boy. Sweet. Okay. Nice. And now it's gone. He over it, so I guess that means I'm over it. Whatevs.